once you start using large databases, it is quite possible, um, however rigorous you are with your data entry, for duplicates to be made. This could be unintentional, just two people typing in the same information at different times, um, or it could result from, uh, for example, uh, a member joining under one name, coming back a year later, joining again, but not telling you that they were previously a member. So those, that information is added again. So we're going to look at a query now that will help you find any duplicate data. We'll just have a look at our data again. We've got a, a members table and we've got 95 records in here. So it starts to get difficult to scroll down and spot any duplicates. I do know there's a duplicate here, Miss Stephanie Conroy. If I scroll all the way down to the bottom, there she is again. So what I'm going to do is create a query that will help us spot that error. So as I said, it's a query and we're going to use the wizards again. So it's on the new button and we can choose a find duplicates query wizard. First step is it's asking us which table or query we want to find that duplicate information in. So we're going to select the members table and then carry on through the wizard. It then asks us which fields might contain duplicate information. Now this is where you've got to be careful. There's no point, depending on your data of course, there's no point in just looking for somebody's last name because there might be more than one Smith. There's no point in looking for just the first name and last name together because there might be more than one John Smith. So you've got to think about what makes a record unique and what makes it so that you're going to know that that has been a duplicate. In this instance, I'm going to, and we can add more than one field here, I'm going to add title, first name, last name, and then I'm hoping that the telephone number they've given both times is going to help me. Of course, with other data, it might be dates of birth, national insurance numbers, employee numbers, anything that makes that information more likely to be a duplicate. So the wizard the, or the query is going to look at all these four fields and only if all, all four of these match will it say it's a duplicate. So we, if we've got Miss, um, Miss Samantha Smith with that telephone number and then Mrs Samantha Smith with the same telephone number, it will not show us a duplicate because of the difference between the Miss and the Mrs. Because of course, those two people could really exist and not be duplicates. It'll only throw a duplicate if all four are identical. So you've got to be careful in combining these fields as to make sure you've got enough fields there to spot the duplicate, but not too many as to make the whole thing cumbersome. We then go through the wizard. And the next question is asking me, OK, when we show you the results, we'll show you the results of the four fields you've shown me. But to help you make a decision, do you want to include any more information? So I'm going to include the county and the member type, just so we can see that alongside the information. Always give a sensible name and then finish. And that's because I was practicing earlier. OK, so we have found our duplicate. This is what the database sh shows when we run the query. It's showing us that there's two Miss Stephanie Conroys, same telephone number, same county. And then there's that additional information of the county and membership type. It's not looking at that in terms of the duplicate, but it helps you make the decision. Once you've made a decision, you can simply delete a record from here, if you so choose. And that record is now gone. If I run that query again, because remember we saved it, so all I need to do to find any more duplicates is to double click the query 
and this time there are no duplicates. Let's go back to the table and create a duplicate. I'm just going to select a record and copy it. Go to a new record and do edit, paste, append. Pins the whole record um, into the into the table. Uh, just work messages that it's giving me. And there we are. Now I'm just going to change this membership node because on this particular field it's been set up as um, a primary key, so it won't allow me to have that record number twice. So I'm just going to make that very obviously different. Okay, so let me accept that now. But you can see the information is still a duplicate. And I didn't ask it to compare the member numbers. So we'll go back to our query, double click it to run it, and it's picking up that duplicate. And we can delete it from there as well. So that's a query to find your duplicates. Use the wizard, choose find duplicates, and just work your way through the query.